Hey folks, welcome back to the farm. And if you're new to Mark Kelly Farm, uh, welcome also. Me and my wife Kelly live here in central Nebraska. We have our YouTube channel here and we do all things homestead. So we hope you stick around and subscribe if you haven't. So salad has been on the menu lately because we've had lots of lettuce coming out of the garden and we have a lot in the fridge. So we've been eating quite a bit of it. And I'm going to make me some lunch. Kelly's at work today. Um, I'm going to make a salad that's one of my family's favorite salads. We never really had a name for it. My daughters used to always call it the yummy salad. So that's kind of the name that just stuck. So we're going to make that for lunch today. It's a super easy salad to make. It's very refreshing and very tasty. It'd be great for even dinner parties if you were having those and uh, back when I used to do some catering and stuff, we would make this salad whenever we would do like a service meal. So let's get into it and I'll show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to use a mixture of our butter crunch lettuce and our romaine. Now, if you didn't know this tip, when you harvest your lettuce, Wrap it in paper towel before you throw it in your Ziploc bag and put it in your fridge. It stays nice and crunchy. Uh, soaks up any excess moisture that's in the bag. It doesn't let it sit in moisture. And it's a very good way to preserve it. So I'm going to chop up these two little heads here. It'd be plenty for me. And we'll wrap the rest of this back up and put it in the fridge. Now that tip about storing the lettuce in those paper towels... That also works really good for celery and any other leafy greens as well. And also, folks, do yourself a favor. If you're not growing your own lettuce and you buy it at the store, do not buy bag lettuce. That stuff's got a weird flavor to it for some kind of preservative they put on it to make it, to keep it crunchy or crisp. I tend to buy the salad in the plastic tubs. I'll either buy like a spring mix or the baby greens. It works really well for this salad and you don't get that weird bag salad flavor. All right, we've got our lettuce chopped. Kelly washes all this lettuce and then spins it dry before she stores it in the fridge. So we're going to let this sit for a second. We're going to make our dressing. Now I use one of these little shaker bottles. It's actually got uh, vinaigrette and salad dressing recipes right on it. But I like it because it has the ounces here listed on the jar. So this re uh, recipe is super easy. It's just three parts, three equal parts. The first part is salad oil. And we're going to do three ounces of that. Because we're just mixing up a small batch. And then the second installment is apple cider vinegar. So we'll go up to the six ounce line with this, which is right there. And then our final ingredient is some of my honey from California from my bees. It's a really dark, rich honey and I love it. And I only got, I think, a half a gallon left of this stuff. So we're going to put three ounces of this in there. And never do the honey first, because if you do the honey first, it sticks to the bottom of the jar, and it's very hard to mix. So we've got three ounces of that. So we put our lid on. Close the top. And just shake it up. And there's your dressing right there. Really good. You can adjust the levels of ingredients in this dressing as you would like. If you like it a little less acidic, you cut back on the vinegar. If you like it a little less sweet, you would cut back a little bit on the honey. Uh, you could just leave the oil alone and just adjust it from there. But we did three, three, and three. You can do four, four, and four. You can do make as much as you need. But this will be way more than what we need uh, for our salad. So we're going to set this aside and we're going to peel an apple real quick and get a plate to do that on. 
So this is a Fuji apple. My favorite apple to use. My favorite apple to eat fresh, too. I remember watching uh, Andy Griffith's show years ago, and him and Barney were seeing who could peel an apple, keeping the uh, skin intact as they peeled it. And Andy could always do it, but Barney could never get the knack. I almost did it. But now that we have this apple peeled, we can start putting our salad together. So I like doing these salads individually, putting, the, putting them together individually, because as you add the ingredients, if you do a big salad, once you start scooping salad out of the bowl, all of your goodies fall to the bottom. And we don't want that to happen. So we're going to take our lettuce in our salad dressing, and I like to dress it separately. And the reason I do that, if you don't do this, you end up with a big uh, pool of dressing in the bottom of your, your dish. And if you're, you have company and you're serving dinner to them, um, that's not very appetizing, having a big old pool of dressing in the bottom of your bowl. So... That salad is tossed pretty well. Now any excess, excess dressing is going to stay in the bottom of that bowl. And then we'll get our serving bowl here. Now if you have four people for dinner, you'd have four bowls out. Just like that. Now that salad, the lettuce is perfectly dressed. And you don't have a big pool of dressing in the bottom. So now we're going to take our apple and we're going to slice down to the core on our apple. And I only need about half of this apple. When I make a salad for dinner for Kelly and I, I use a whole apple. So now that that is cut to the core, I just come in and I do thin slices like this just to where it's cut. And I just slice right down to the core, leaving the core intact. I'll put the rest of that in the fridge. Spread my apples out a little bit on this salad. Like that. Now the next thing we're going to come in with is some feta cheese. I've already used some of this out of here, so I'm going to go ahead and use all of this cheese that is in this container. Just like that. Next thing we're going to come in is with is dried cranberries or craisins. So we grab a few of these, spread it on your salad. You can also use raisins, work really well in this salad as well. Just like that. And the final installment is some type of nut. My mom used to use some candied walnuts, but I think it adds too much sweetness. There's already a lot of sweet going on in the salad. So I really enjoy some cashews on this, but you can use whatever nut you like. You could use pecans, you could use walnuts, whatever. But I'm a big fan of the cashews in this salad. So there you go, folks. That's the yummy salad. Really, really good, really refreshing salad to have in the summer. Very, very tasty. So, I hope you try this recipe. It's another fantastic recipe and you'll really enjoy it. Again, mix and match the ingredients to match whatever your family likes. You could add some other type of vegetable in there as well, or some pickled vegetables, or whatever you want would be really good. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. 
Come see us next time. We're going to can some potatoes in our brand new canner. So stick around for that on our next video. So love you guys. Catch you later.